Well, if you've been watching us, <laughs> you know <laughs> we've been counting down the days until the great Arkansas eclipse right here on 5 News. Are you excited? Yes, I'm ready for it to be done, in <laughs> fact. It's going to be a busy, busy day, an historic day, in fact, here in 5 Country. And right now, emergency management, along with county and local leaders, are putting on their final touches to their plans. Yeah, years in the making, state is predicting anywhere from 300,000 to 1.5 million people to make their way to Arkansas to the path of totality. AAA says tomorrow is going to be one of the busiest days for travel as Eclipse onlookers get settled in for Monday. Even state troopers with ASP have noticed an uptick in traffic. We've seen a few out-of-state vehicles already. Uh, we would assume they're here for the eclipse, but uh, I noticed yesterday afternoon on my way home there was uh, a lot more traffic than normal. It is kind of fun to look at the license plates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just saw one from Colorado, actually. Well, both ASP and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are reminding you that safety should come first on Monday if you're driving. They do not want you parking on a bridge or dam during the eclipse. Just keep moving. And they do not want you pulling over onto the shoulder anywhere to watch the eclipse as it needs to stay clear for first responders to use. Our best advice for that is, is don't pull over. Uh, don't stop on the interstate, obviously. Don't pull over to the shoulder. What that does is that causes a, a chain reaction, cause, could cause a bunch of crashes. ASP adds that they want drivers to stay off the road during the eclipse and do not wear those eclipse sunglasses while driving because you won't see a thing. And just stay patient on the road with a lot more traffic than normal. And new tonight, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders of Arkansas has declared a state of emergency ahead of the eclipse. She's setting aside $100,000 from the Disaster Response and Recovery Fund to make sure essential goods can reach everyone and prevent a backlog in services with the influx of those travelers. A couple of other tips you need to remember. Don't forget that uh, your phone charger and write down a few important numbers you might need just in case. With everyone in one spot, there might be a chance that cell phone signals could be way slower than normal. Also, make sure to top off your gas tank or fully charge your electric vehicle before heading out. A lot of experts want you to treat the eclipse like a snowstorm. There's no reason for any major concerns, but just to make sure you're prepared for the big crowds just in case. All right, we've covered just about everything we can to get you ready for the eclipse on Monday, including, of course, how to safely watch it. But just in case, I talked with a doctor about why it's important you take your eyesight, your eye safety seriously. Now that you've got your favorite spot picked out to watch the event, you need to protect your eyes. If you have eclipse glasses, they need to be certified. It should say on there ISO certified 12312-2. And that is the certification that it is good to look at the eclipse with the sunglasses on. Dr. Seth Laster with Laster Eye Center in Fort Smith says if you don't have the proper eyewear. The UV radiation from the sun um, can actually burn a hole into the back part of your eye called your retina, which can really distort your vision and cause probably permanent blindness over time. And he says in most cases that damage cannot be fixed. There's no way of kind of fixing this. It, it can literally burn a hole in the back part of the eye. And sometimes they can resolve, but most people it, it is permanent. Um, when you're looking at an image, half the image could be missing because of that hole that is burned, burned in the back part of your eye. And as the wait time dwindles down to totality, there are events happening this weekend from Ashdown all the way to Maumelle. And we have a quick list of what's happening. Starting off, Maumelle will be hosting Blackout the Boulevard with live music, food trucks, carnivals, and hot air balloon rides. Mina will host their Eclipse Eclipsemas Festival with live music, vendors, a whole lot more. Over in Mountain Home, they're hosting a music festival that they've aptly named Moon Bash. And then in Mountain View, they're hosting a parking, camping, and music festival. Russellville planning a shopping extravaganza. Over in Lamar, there'll be also a, an Eclipse Music Festival. In Jasper, it's hosting a totality fair time. And even in Dequeen, way in South Arkansas, they're hosting a Fiesta Fest and Severely Dark Fest. If you want to learn more about any of these events, you can head to our website, 5newsonline.com.